What you hear about in this video may disturb you. Proceed at your own risk. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now right here on my table I have a Steel 028 AV Super and a Steel MS290 which I replaced and you saw in an earlier video with a 029 um, gas tank is all cracked out. So don't let that confuse. This is not what we're talking about today. Uh, it's going to help me explain what I'm about to talk about on this saw. So, remember one wondering from the title. How did Steel lie to us about the little innocent 028? Well, this was brought into my shop about a week ago because the guy claimed it would not run and start. Or it was super, super hard to get started, and when it would run, it would run okay. It was just super, super hard to get started. And I messed around with it for a long time, and I could barely get it running. The only time I get it running was by spraying starting fluid into the carburetor. Uh, then it, only then it wouldn't run, and then it wouldn't run fine. It started up. It would usually start up again after it was set for a little bit. That was not a problem once it was running. But I found out after after doing a little bit of work inside of this thing. Check out what's inside this carburetor. Okay, you have your throttle down here on your trigger, and that goes into this bottle. You can see it opening and closing there in the back. Also note what it says right here on this switch. Okay, there's the um, start position, there's the run position, there's the off position. Oh, and then right down here is the choke. Wait a minute. Nothing moved. Let's try that again. It is, let's see if I can get this right one hand, choke. Nothing moved. Let's look over here on the steel MS290 chain this off. Okay, so you've got your throttle wing in the back there, and let's choke the saw. What? What is that? That, my friends, is a choke wing. It blocks off the air so you get more fuel into the carburetor. But this saw doesn't have one. How can it run? Exactly! How can it keep running? That's why it's so hard to start, is because there's no choke on this thing. And you have a throttle back there when you choke the when you put it into choke mode, the throttle is, you know, barely open, so it's virtually no different than right there, except right there it's idling, you know, so it's it's open a little bit when you do this. But it's no different than basically just running. So there's no choke lever in here. As you can see in here there's a tiny little stub. Let's see if I can get any light in here. Um, the little stub of a plastic piece right there. That's connected to the shaft. And this piece right over here has the same thing, but it goes to, guess what? The choke lever right here. You can see that moving right there. So, my point is here, why did Steel go to the trouble, print choke on here, and seem like they almost made a choke lever arm right there on the throttle linkage here, but not actually put a choke on this thing. And I might be thinking, well, Mark, you just got a steel 028 that somebody swapped a carburetor from a weed whacker or something into it. No, I checked. I looked online on eBay, brand new carburetors, OEM carburetors for this saw, like 55 carburetors, exact same carburetor. That is not the problem. The problem is, steel did not put a choke wing on this carburetor. It also looks like they might have put like almost like a primer bulb area in here, like they started to cast it and just decided to stop. Maybe that's what it is, I'm not really certain on that, but that's kind of what it looks like in there. Um, but if you know what the zero and the, like the one symbol means, please let me know in the comments down below, I'd love to know more about these chainsaws. Anyway, that's just kind of my random little video of the day, and yes, my customer who's using this thing got tired of pulling this thing like 11 or 12 times and just went over to his little 40cc pull and put chainsaw because that... Imagine the steel has a choke and a primer bulb on the same saw. That thing starts up in like two or three pulls. That thing just takes right off and runs great. A little wild thing for the win in this case. But anyway, that's my take on the steel 028. Now, if somebody knows a lot more about these things than I do, please let me know. Does this carburetor have like a self priming or, you know, a self um, choking style thing. I tore the whole car apart and cleaned it. That's the only way I was able to get it running good again. But um, if you guys know anything about this carburetor, please leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to know. If this saw, maybe I'm completely wrong about this thing. Maybe it actually does have like an auto choke and auto prime system inside of it. I did not see anything like that when I tore it apart to clean it. But now it's back to starting in, well, 10 volts. <laughs> like it always has been. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you next time.
do weird experiments. Bye.